Welcome back. It is I, the Hobgoblin. We're back to control. Let's do this. Woohoo! <sighs> no reason to push that one. The elevator's already here. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels right. Like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. It feels sane. Or just the right kind of thing. Thank you for giving me this help. Ooh, shortcut. Excuse me. do there. Hello, big computer thing. Do I use you? Bureau Archivist, NSC. The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of redacted excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. The coolant pumps keep the container and its redacted from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then conducted to the converters where it is rendered into a redacted through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC 01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of Redacted's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC 02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effect from its occupant. What? You're using our creature for some type of 
fucking power resource. Um, yeah, that's not weird at all. Oh, wait. Was there a button I could push on this? Nope, it was just the paper. I don't get to use it. How non-satisfying. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, I can go downwards. Ooh, hello. Fan supplement. Extract from formal interdepartmental complaint. The notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region, since foreign investigator redacted met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. What? That's fucking insane. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rational that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communication with public bodies. With all due respect, William S. Powers, head of the Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions. Whoa. Cool. That's dope. Well, goodbye. Wait, you telling me these are killing people? It's not that big. Hello, door. You can't stop me anymore. <laughs> Big ass room. I gotta summon the elevator. Elevator's broken. What? Gotta get down the old fashioned way. Yeah. Fall and hope you don't die. Logically talking, this would really fucking hurt. Even if it was like short jumps, that's so many jumps on your knees. Not fun. Look at this. Who the fuck would do this all day? <gasps> Jeez. Whoops. Almost missed that. Hmm. And exploding. Uh huh. Because this looks. This is something I would not do. No. I'd be like. I guess the place is gonna blow up. I'm not the hero you guys thought I was. Mine's, this kind of reminds me of like some of uh, the tram stations in Fallout 3. But it's not as dark. Or scary.
Ow. Well, I'm trying to catch one of them. You're mine! Serve me. good even if you did nothing you did good all right let's do this let's get rid of the funk ah nice it's clean in here Ooh. really Somehow did another one. This place looks fucking insane. Oh, yep, okay. Oh, oh, giant ass words in my face. Ah, you've got armor? You'd make a great servant, my dude. Go kill. I'm missing. area looks fucking huge, dude. But we have to try and explore it all. I say we go left. Objective is still to find Black Rock Quarry. We're literally in it. All right, let's go this way. It's down here. Quarry equipment order. I don't know why my legs are hurting so much. I'm sitting. I'm literally sitting. We need additional diamond blades. ASAP. Continuous rim. This time to get the clean cut research ones. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like we're made of the damn things. The dimensions for these slabs of black rock they want are outrageous. 
For all the grief they are causing me, these fire breaks better fucking work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Damn. the fuck? Fucking it. What? Oh, one of these fuckers is down here. I wonder what he's protecting. Whoa. Holy expected. fuck! I guess that's the way to go. Cognitive intruder. Oh, ew. <laughs> Make my oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to find any more of those. That was disgusting. Cory Worker Incident. Uh-oh. Those were the workers, weren't they? Linda, I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry when he stumbled out from behind some black rock. Looked like hell. I called him to medical right away. He was half starved. He's been missing for two weeks. So I guess it's not a surprise. Well, I was waiting while I was waiting for someone to come help, he kept telling me about some carvings. Something about an ancient tree. I couldn't really understand him. When the medics came, they brought security. They grabbed David and hauled him off. They interrogated me for a couple hours. Pfft, damn. About what David had told me. Anyway, I know you're on the next shift, so I thought I'd leave this for you. He was your husband, so... Damn! That sucks. You have a right to know the way security was acting. Well, I don't know if we're going to see David again. I'm so sorry, Linda. Burn this after you read it. B. Well, that fucking blows chunks. It was her husband. Damn. That's why you don't marry co workers. That's why you don't date co workers. You have. No, don't. Stay over there. Stay where the fuck you are. I'm just gonna. I. Oh! Ouch! Goodbye! Fuck you, man. We have so much more to explore. We must explore. Oh, this looks like a dead end. Let's just... Alright, let's look down here. Yep, just dead end. door. It's locked. Alright, we all know where we need to go. Fucking what? saw your shadow, asshole. You ain't gonna get me again.
they're fighting. Oh. That's interesting. They're not friends. Well, neither are we. I kind of wanna, wanted to see what was up. Parkour, baby. For no fucking reason. Haha. <laughs> uh, or maybe. Oh, hello. What is this? I mean, I can ride one of these. Mm, I don't trust that. That seems a bit dangerous. Jeez, man, this place is kind of uh, stressing me out. <laughs> it's so big. Such a giant ass location. No smoking reminder. All bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is still is technically an outdoor space, it is still a part of the bureau. And therefore, the no smoking rules does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions, and possible creation of altered receptacles. Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for your understanding. Fucking idiots. God. Oh, that's open. Beep, 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 beep. Activate the explosives to excavate the Black Rock Prison. Uh, what? Uh, no, I don't know. Still exploring, my man. My guy, my dude. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, wait. Never mind. I think I see a way.
place is kind of creepy. Have I fully been up here? No, I don't think I have. Did we go that way? What is... How do we get a top of that? What in the hell? Restricted area? Bullshit. Nothing's restricted for me. Whoops, I kind of fucked that up and fell all the way to the bottom. I can go upwards. X marks the spot. Well, I don't have much time, so until our next journey, um, I guess we'll blow up this shit. Get us ourselves some prisms. Until then, bye. <laughs>